This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's go through and have a look at the standard on leases. It's one of the most up-to-date, newest accounting standards that have been issued by the IASB, and it is there as IFRS 16. If you're interested, it replaces the old IAS 17 accounting standard. But we're not worried about the old standard. We're worried about the new standard. So before we go through and cover the accounting rules of leases, let's first of all go through that and have a look at what we actually mean by a lease. Because a lease of a, is effectively a form of finance. When you're looking to raise money for a new project or the purchase of a new asset, you could either go through there and use debt finance, equity finance. Uh, so, so issuing the debt, issuing the equity is all covered by your financial instruments. But what happens if you don't purchase the asset outright? Yeah, what happens there if you go through and use that asset and make rental payments to somebody else who legally owns the asset? How do we account for that lease? And that's what we have here. So we've got company A who legally owns the asset, it belongs to them. And you have a company that is looking to use that asset. Uh, it can't raise the debt finance, it can't raise the equity finance, so enters into a lease to be able to use that asset. So even though legally company A owns it, company B uses the asset. And when it uses that asset, it is allowed to use it for a fixed period of time provided that it makes rental payments to company A. And this is where we need to start thinking about the accounting treatment. Because when we're looking at the rental payments, uh, terminology that you need to get used to is that there could be payments that are made in advance. So that is at the start of the lease period. And we would need to look at how to account for those. Uh, we also need to look at payments in arrears. So they are at the end of the lease period. And we would need to look at how to account for those. Again, more terminology is that company B is referred to as the lessee. So the lessee is the company that uses the asset, whereby the company that owns the asset legally is the lessor. OK, now what we're going to be focusing on is the lessee. Yeah. So at this level, we're focusing on the lessee's accounting in terms of looking at the rental payments and whether or not we actually recognize an asset within our financial statements because if we're using that asset for a specific purpose over a fixed period of time then maybe we meet the definition of an asset a resource that is controlled by the entity that gives rise to probable future economic benefits and that's the key aspect here even though legally we may not own it we actually control it and if we control it we're going to go through there and recognize an asset. And if we have that asset, which we now refer to as a right of use asset, again, more terminology, then what we need to be able to recognize then is a corresponding lease liability. Because once again, we're fulfilling the definitions of the ISB framework with regards to a liability. We have a present obligation. So we are obliged to make those lease payments. As a result of a past event, the signing of the contract between company B and company A that give rise to a probable outflow of economic benefits, okay, which we can then measure reliably. So we know the lease payments and we know that we are going to have to make them in order to have control over that right of use asset. So the majority of this chapter is going through there and focusing on the lessee's accounting uh, and how to account for the right of use asset and that lease liability. Just note the lessor accounting we are not concerned with at financial reporting level. We are much more concerned with lessor accounting when we advance it a little bit further into the world of your strategic business reporting. OK, so for now, we're just focusing on the lessee, the business that uses the asset and how they control that asset and therefore recognize a right of use asset and also have an obligation and therefore record that lease liability.